So in electronics, we usually use motors. Say for example, this one. Small, but powerful. Then we get up to bigger ones, like this one. Which is a bit larger. Obviously go a bit faster. Also uses up more current and more voltage. It's even bigger. To even more bigger. Then we go economically, economically crazy and go even larger. Except that's very complicated. Yeah. Pretty big. But this is a fan motor. It's all using fans. <laughs> but, wonder if we could make our own. Well, we shall do that. So, here's our speaker we need. And a copper wire. The reason we need a speaker is because it's got a magnet on it. You can use any magnet, I just don't have a magnet with me right now. So first of all, we'll wire all this copper up. I'll tell you when it's ready. Here. This is what you should get. Don't forget to wrap the end of the copper wire around it about four times. And you should get that. But it's not very good, so we'll put these metal wires on it. I use solder on it. Because I couldn't find metal. <laughs> Me and my low suppliers. So we're going to power these to electricity with these two clips onto my transformer. You can use a 1.5 volt battery, which is recommended. But this is what I did. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. But I am getting a feeling there's a magnetic field around it. Look at it there. Ah, seems to be working a bit there. There we are. Oh. There. Could have spin it the other way around. Could have spin it the other way around. And it's going really fast. This is using a lot and a lot of voltage, as you normally should, as you shouldn't do it. This causes a lot of heat, a lot and a lot of heat. So much that it'll actually smoke and catch fire. Yeah, which will happen right now. Oh dear. Unfortunately, yeah. Got so hot, it actually melted the solder that was connected to the copper. Let's give you a look there. See? And there you have it, our motor. Spins like a bolt. Fortunately, we had some tragic endings. Oh. See you next week with some more electronical use.